Paranenihi Kiwai Totra Incorporation's number two dairy farm won the Supreme Award for Taranaki in the 2016 Balanced Farm Environment Awards. It's another indication of where the Māori Incorporation is positioning itself in the agribusiness sector. PKW Chair Henirangi Raumati explains. The strategy is really, I guess, being more active. So we've been owners of this land for more than 150 years, but we haven't actively farmed it for, you know, about 140 years. So the whole strategy is about getting ourselves actively engaged in farming, building our capability and capacity, providing a pipeline for people, our own people to come onto the farms and be staff, be share milkers, be service providers, all that sort of thing. It's actually a really long journey, right? So while we don't have Māori farmers sitting around and waiting for jobs, we actually have to build them and create them. We also have to be really conscious about the brand and the reputation that we have, because then that attracts them out of other areas as well. Our ratio of Māori staff to all of our staff is just under 50%. So we keep an eye on that. We don't recruit specifically for it, but we keep an eye on it just to see that we are achieving those longer term goals. We're actively involved with land-based training. Uh, and that's a venture that's been going for about a year now with us. So they are, uh, have a Māori, Māori Pacific Trade Trainings program. And so we're helping them find students to go on that program that help meet us need, our needs. Those, that, that training program then connects back to some of our farms. And when students need real live uh, farming experiences, then they can come on our farms and, and get that. The environment is important to us. It actually sounded like a bit of a cliche as I said it. But as Māori and as the biggest Māori commercial entity in this region and the biggest farmer in this region, we think we have to take a leadership role. And so what we're focused on are our effluent systems, stocking levels, the amount of inputs that we have on farm and our riparian planting. There's some of the activities that we can do that help contribute to minimising the impact of farming on the environment. The Balanced Farm Environmental Awards, I guess they play two roles for us, those sorts of competitions. And one is to actually put some challenge, give some challenge to our farmers, our people on the, uh, on the ground and, let, and get them to think critically about the way that they operate the business. And then the other component of it is actually to, to play that leadership role, to put ourselves at, uh, in the public eye and say, yes, we're doing a good job in this area on this farm and uh, it becomes a bit of a role model, it becomes a bit of a sign to other people and other people within our teams as well. PKW Farm 2 is 159 hectares total but the milking platform is about 100, there's about 30 or 40 hectares of pine trees and the rest in gullies and waste areas. We're blessed with Taranaki with pretty good soils, this is a System 3 farm, um, it's probably a little bit small for some of the infrastructure here but it's a work in motion. Every farm's unique, they've all got their different sets of challenges. One set of rules doesn't always apply to all, but there are guidelines across the board. One of our key aims is to get things at the best cost. Most dairy farmers are looking for the same thing. This farm's got pretty state-of-the-art environmental facilities. It meets the Messi University calculator and some a little bit. It has flood wash, so water conservation, solid separator that allows that. It also has solar panels on the roof to cut down the power use. Riparian planting across the group is on a farm by farm basis. Every farm will have its unique set of challenges, but um, it's something that we're well in line to get across the line by 2020. Our challenges going forward are the ever rising environmental and um, expectations. Um, you ne it's a never finishing target. You, once you reach something, you're always looking to see what the next one is. So those are the challenges of farming. Nutrient management on this property is about 35 units of in currently and we're looking to lower that and that's across the board as well, looking at every property in its own right. Being part of PKW we're conscious that we're the biggest supplier in Taranaki and that if things go wrong that we'd be in the limelight for the wrong reasons so there, there is a, a fact of that but being guardians of the land that, that's our key reason for trying to get it right first time. The cash head's probably overspecced size-wise for the size of the property, but that's in line with the long-term view that PKW will grow um, in time. It's got an intergenerational view, so that this build was in line with that. It's a 60 bale rotary, cup removers, auto teat spray, um, conductivity meters and the like. Um, pretty bells and whistles with not having everyone, but it's, it's, it's 
state of the art. The effluent system of this property is a two-stage sand trap that goes to a reception tank. It's got a solid separator onto a millilitre concrete storage bunker. It does provide a degree of future proofing for the herd size to go up as well. We've got 36 hectares by a Williams irrigator. The solids get spread primarily on the um, cropping paddocks twice a year or as required when the bunker gets full, spread by a local contractor. When you've got very good infrastructure like this, it does give you a degree of flexibility, but it's still down to the operator. The operator's still got to observe. You can put all the technology you like into a system, but it comes back to the, to the people, the people that run the system. They've still got to oversee the, the, the operation of, safe operation of the system. It is difficult time for dairy. It's been a long two, three years now. We're probably more focused on optimising what we've got at this stage. There will still be expansion opportunities. We'll probably look more towards property that sits beside a farm that we're operating at the moment. We've got some strategic footholds in some of the other areas around Taranaki, but um, probably more focused on ourselves internally and getting the systems and the infrastructure right. <coughs> This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.